there, girl. Bueno, pues nada. ¡Adiós! ¡Hola, buenas! ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué me miráis así? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> mm. 
But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Me pasa. O sea, eh, me pasa literalmente. Rollo. Me juega demasiadas veces esto ya. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Coño. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Señora. Usted, usted como fantasma, no, me ha parecido un poco lo que viene a hacer la cara, lo sabes, ¿no? Literalmente me apareció en la cara. El fantasma menos tímido, totalmente. ¿eh? El, fan el fantasma, literalmente, en plan. Quiero ser mi amigo. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Mm. I think I see something. Okay. Hey, 
Time. ¿Cómo? Me da curiosidad. ¿Qué juego es? We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Hostia, vale, sí. Get back to Dutch. Come on now, boy. Ahora te leo eso. Un segundo. Que ya sabes que en San Denis eh, mirar el chat a lo mejor cuesta atropellar a alguien. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said. 
You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just on, simple son. country boys. Hey. A ver, era un juego que ya nació muerto, ¿vale? también te voy a decir. Hey, boy. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally well, move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! <clears throat> Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. A ver, siempre han ido haciendo cositas. Sí. Javi, hazlo. Javi. 
Javi. Todo el mundo sabe lo que, lo, lo que va a tocar, ¿no? Venga. Ahí está. Un par de ojitos negros y el cielito lindo de contrabando. Morena, sierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros y cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Puta voz que tiene el hijo de puta. Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Yo soy como el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo. Definitivamente no sé español. Mirando por debajo. You know, me and you should go get some drink and say to me. I saw that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanged? Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing... This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. I'm a dormir. Good to have you back too, Tilly. You've been rescuing people left and right. Eh, sí, gaje te lo fui tío. ¿Dónde mierda dormía yo? ¿Abajo? O no, esta es.
coño Una duchita sí que me vendría puta madre También te voy a decir Jamskir la cara de Arthur Totalmente no, la, la nota Arthur, la nota My dear Arthur I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Nunca la vas a superar, eh. Te hace mal, eh. Ah, un bañito. Ahí, ahí. Casi limpito. John, oh, my head. See? We can be nice to each other. I guess. You ain't so bad. Sounds good. <laughs> 